Hi everybody, I'm Simon Davis. I'm the design manager on Ghost Recon Phantoms and I'm here to speak to you today about a number of cool initiatives we have coming up. So as many of you know, we recently made the announcement that the game will be arriving on Steam on April 10th. So that was our press announcement and now we've got some exclusive content just for you guys in the community. So today I'm gonna to be focusing on three areas. Firstly, we're gonna be talking about the new user experience. Secondly, we're gonna be talking about a big topic for all of you, which is matchmaking. And then just finally, we're gonna be talking about customization depth in Ghost Recon Phantoms. So guys, please feel free to send through any questions or queries you might have after this video, either in the YouTube comments or on the forums, and we'll be creating another follow-up to this to try and address these questions for you. Now I'm gonna focus on addressing what we call the big five questions that you guys have on the forums. One, yes, Ghost Recon Phantoms will remain free. Number two, we're not gonna do all the changes we announced just within three weeks. Uh, don't worry, we've been working on these changes for a number of months and now we're ready to share them with you. You'll be able to play from Steam or like today, you can just play the game via the traditional launcher. So both options are open to you. Tactical insertion and smoke grenades will not be here by launch because we wanted to have these play tests to ensure that we had your feedback. Now we've collected your thoughts and the opinions of the community, we're working on improving these features and we'll be shipping them to you guys when we think they're ready. Just finally, don't worry, no one's gonna lose their account. Your account will not be wiped. So just before we begin, I wanna take a little bit of time to discuss some of the recent changes we've made to the economy. As many of you know, we recently increased the RP payout by 20%. On top of that, we extended the completion streak to 25 hours, gives you up to an extra 20% again every day. So if you combine the two, you get an extra 40% a day just for playing. So now onto ghost coins. As many of you know, we recently reduced the price of ghost coins by 10%. Now on top of this, we have more regular happy hours than ever before, giving you a chance to buy them at 50% less than usual. We have monthly GC challenges, whereby you can get up to 250 ghost coins every month just by playing. And just finally, we're gonna be giving rewards to all of the veterans that have played throughout the beta. And you can get up to 5,000 ghost coins just for having played. The traditional experience in Ghost Recon Online was that you would play for an hour or two, you'd get up to the right level, which in our case would be level five. Then you'd be kicked out in the newbie playlist and you'd be in the shark pool. Firstly, we're going to extend the length of the newbie playlist. So we've already raised it from level five to level seven and we'll be increasing this to level eight. Okay, so another big change we've been making to improve the new user experience is that we've revisited the tier system. So currently the tier system can feel like a bit of a grind to get from tier one to tier nine. To try and make things easier for new users, we've taken the first two tiers out. Now don't worry, if you have a tier one or a tier two gun, it's not going anywhere. We're gonna leave these guns in your inventory. You're gonna have a unique gun that no one else has or no one else can buy anyway. Uh, but what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna make the existing tier three gun, for example, the new tier one. And the tier four would become the tier two, the tier five would become the tier three all the way through up to the tier nine gun that becomes a new tier seven. This affects the weapon proficiency in a way because these are tied to tiers. So the maximum proficiency for a tier nine gun will be the tier seven proficiency. An example of how this would benefit you is that if you're a brand new specialist, uh, like me, I love playing specialists, you would be able to just buy an M249 straight away. The good news is that the price of the weapons will follow the same trend and will be reduced. You will get better weapons for less. Now, traditionally, the matchmaking system has worked along the lines of taking all your performance and your skill rating against other players into account and giving you a score based on that. And then it would try and match you as much as possible, depending on the amount of people connected to people that had similar skill as you. It wouldn't take into account any of the gear you had. So sometimes this would result in you being killed by someone that had a much better gun. And even if you're a better player than them, that just doesn't feel good. It's not a good experience. So going forward for Steam, we're gonna have a system that takes into account roughly 50% of the weapons you have and 50% your skill. So I mean, unless you're a very, very, very good player uh, who's using low level weapons, there are a few chances that a player with low level weapons would encounter someone with a high level weapon. So one of the extra benefits of coming on Steam is that it actually increases the number of users available to us for matchmaking. So right now you may have a situation where you have a lobby with fewer users and not so many players connected at your level. With more players coming in, 
we're going to have more possibilities than ever before to be able to match you with someone who's at a similar gear and skill level to you, meaning better matches for everyone. The benefits of this are clear for everyone, both new users and veterans. So as a new user coming out of the newbie playlist, you're going to be coming up against much more accessible opponents. They either have a very similar gear to you or similar skill, both. You're not likely to be matched up against a high level player like a level 30 general with a spaz 12, for example. For a skilled player, you're much more likely to come across players with similar gear and similar skill. So this leads to a much more satisfying experience, much more balanced match. And in summary, players of all abilities will face better balanced opposition. Now onto customization. So we have two cool new features coming up. The first one is a mod master, which is a weapon which is fully customizable. So you can adjust the gun just to suit your playstyle, and we'll be replacing that uh, against the old variants. And in addition to this, we're bringing in weapon camo, where you can change the look of your gun and give yourself a unique weapon. When you have 10 cool weapon camos to begin with. Now let's watch a video on these. This is the MK16 mod master variant. It will replace all standard variants in the store at launch. Now the mod master will allow you to create your own unique variants. So just like before, you can change scopes or bottom attachments, magazines. But the difference with the mod master is you can change the stock and the barrel, which gives you full control over your weapon. The stock impacts your ready time, accuracy and control, and the barrel will impact the damage, rate of fire, control and accuracy. And of course, we put some rules in place to make sure you don't create imbalanced or OP weapons. But at the end of the day, you'll be able to create your own unique CQC, SV or even SP variant. So don't worry about your current inventory. None of your existing guns will disappear. Your current variants will still be part of your stock and we'll provide full details on this in the forums and online. Now, let's move on to the uh, camo system and see this on a different gun. So here's a very distinctive MK5. As you can see, you can have snake skin, wave effects, all kinds of crazy paint jobs. And here it is in the shooting gallery. As you can see, we also have a bit of the paint job on the scopes and some of the attachments as well, so your gun looks consistent. So on customization, uh, we're very excited about the camo system you just saw. We're going to start off with having 10 cool looking camos. If you have ideas for a cool camo print, then feel free to send it to us. And these cool camos in combination with the Mod Master variant means that you have literally millions of different combinations of guns. So there's no reason why your gun shouldn't be unique on the battlefield. Now, if you have any questions or queries, please don't forget to post them here on our YouTube channel or send them to us via the forums, and we'll be addressing them in a future video. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching, and it's been emotional. Oh, <laughs>